Hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here with a review video of my entries to the Sterling's Farm Challenge. So this is Sterling. He's a sim made by Mena Buchner for my Rags to Riches LP with Katarina. And I liked him and her backstory for him so much that I decided that he needed a dedicated residence within the LP. Putting him in one of my apartment buildings didn't make sense, in part because he's a very wealthy sim. So of course that called for a build challenge. And here we are. So feel free to pause if you want to read this whole description. I don't want to read, at, read it at you. I just want to get into it and let's take a look and see what we see. Okay, so first up here we have Jet Girls entry, Jet Girl 2113. And it's listed as Sterling's Conferred, Converted Barn. I converted, I can't talk, Sterling's Converted Farm. And it says this farmhouse has been renovated and converted. The old barn is now a small art studio. In the main house, a porch has been added to the front to accommodate stairs leading to a new second story, which features a master bedroom with ensuite, family bathroom, and guest room. Downstairs, the old bedroom is a perfect study and a conservatory to the side offers extra dining space. Perfect for someone who loves the outdoors, gardening, and flower arranging. So let's take a look. Wow, so look at this. This looks great just at first glance. And I'm gonna do these in build mode uh, just so this goes a little bit faster rather than tabbing and walking through each just because it'll take too long. But man, look at this. This is beautiful. We've got a little fire pit area. We've got the, the place to eat here. A cute little front porch. That's adorable. Lots of farming space. Look at all this farming space. So a ton of space for him to farm and garden. Love the driveway. Love the use of terrain paint. I love people that know how to use terrain paint well. So that's, that's a great use of terrain paint there. Let's take a look in this barn converted to an art studio. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, that is great, isn't it? Oh, yes. So cute. So cute. Farming area, farming area. She did a beautiful job. Look, we have Apache the Clown. We have an apiary. And this building, that's what it looks like with roof. And then without roof, this is a great little place with the flowering workstation and the pots everywhere. That's a great little building. Love it. Oh, and look at this backspace. All right, we have to go in through the front because that, that sort of gets into the house space. So we'll go in through the downstairs front. Our first room is a nice, heavy, hefty size foyer here. This is a good size foyer. We have our shoe rack, clothing rack, coat rack, whatever you want to call it there. That's beautiful. Yeah, this is a good size foyer. So we have one door off to the side here. Ooh, and we have a double office. So if Sterling finds a girlfriend or partner or wife or someone, that's beautiful. He's already got the space built in for her. In through our other door here, we go through pretty living room. This is a nice living room. This is a good manly space. And then the kitchen. That's a nice space too. It's huge, right? So that's that's something that a rich person would have, but it's not over the top lavish. Very nice space. All right, let's turn around from the other side. Yeah, that's pretty. I love this living room kitchen combination. And out these doors, ooh, ah, oh, this is nice. So we've got a dining room space out here. This is a huge dining space, beautiful for entertaining, obviously all yes all glass and we've got our barbecue area here okay so that is gorgeous so that's a nice space for entertaining for sterling and it's right off of the kitchen living room area which is smart design oh and we have a full bathroom down here with a clawfoot tub nice touch nice okay so let's take a look at the upstairs now so we come in to a nice little landing on the upstairs. We have a little seating. We have a bookcase. And in here, oh, I believe this would be Sterling's bedroom. That's a nice bedroom, nice clean design. And he's got his own ensuite. Yes. Nice color combination there. The blues are good for a guy. I like that color combination. That is pretty. 
And what do we have on this side? Oh, we have a main bathroom here, stone tub, high end. This is a nice high end bathroom, beautiful. And in here, guest bedroom. Love that wallpaper. That wallpaper was with one of the free updates. I love that stuff. That's a pretty little guest bedroom. So beautiful. This is very nice. Hopefully I did not miss anything. There's no basement, right? Nope, no basement. Okay, I think I have it all. This is a nice entry from Jet Girl. She said she was proud of this, and I think with good reason. She has right to be proud of this. Very nice. So next up we have Mena Buchner, who to me has a little bit of a leg up since Sterling Gardner is her sim. She knows him better than anyone else. So let's see what she says about him. She says Sterling Gardner has bought a small holding to get away from a high-flying job as a successful realtor. He's wanting to lead a more relaxed life, do some gardening, and fulfill his passion for the outdoors and fishing. When this property came on the market, he knew this was the one and a decision was made. This home has it all with its simple exterior. No one would guess what lies within. Now all Sterling needs to concentrate on is on finding someone to share this with. All right, so she she gave us a, a little bit of mystery there with the no one could imagine what lies within. So let's see what she's got here for us. Okay, so one build mode item has been removed. Mena, if you watch this and you know what it is, let me know. Uh, if you actually see it, we'll see if we even, we may not even notice it. So, okay, so this is Mena's place. And look how beautiful this is. I love black and white to begin with. It's, it's just gorgeous. And I love this driveway. Great landscaping. Love it. Oh, and then we have this beautiful entrance into the back with a pond, obviously with some fish in process of jumping because we're having splashes. And then we get the, the little area with the fire pit and everything. This is a nice gardening area. Look at this little well. I love the way she did this well with the flowers and everything. That's great. Like it just fits in that spot so nicely. This is adorable too, the, the tree with the little birdhouse and the little uh, angel thing. Oh man, and look at this. God, this is gorgeous. This is some outdoor space. Wow. We have a bar, barbecue, chess, everything. Oh, even a fireplace. God, this whole deck is to die for. Love it. Love it. Love it. So she has less farming space than some of the others, but she adds in a couple of other things. Like we have this gorgeous looking pool back here. That's beautiful. The pond. So less gardening space, but other amenities for sure. All right, let's take a look at the inside. Oh, look at this too. We have massive skylighting over part of the house. Oh, and some windows on the side there. Very interesting. Okay, so... Let's take a look on the inside. Oh, when we get in the foyer. Hey, it's an open foyer. That's unusual for Mena. Usually she has these closed foyers. It's an open foyer with waterfall. Okay, we have to show the water feature just for one second. Live mode. Okay, there we go. We are, we are there and there it is going. So that's what the water feature looks like. Okay, we are going back on pause. I'm trying to keep this time of day right now because there's some good lighting. So it shows the houses in pretty good lighting. But I had to show the water feature. Okay, so now we're back here. Here's the foyer. We go over here. Ooh, there's a sunken room here. Oh my goodness, look at this. That's pretty rich and opulent looking. Wow. Okay, so that's that's definitely very high end for Sterling. So this is what Mena has in her head for Sterling. Wow, cool and high end bathroom. That is a pretty looking bathroom. I like it pretty well still looking manly. And in here we have a nice kind of den library type room tv room okay so this is the more casual space all right so he has the show off space and the more casual space this here is definitely where i see sterling spending more of his time yeah love that he's got the fireplace there too okay this is table's a nice touch as well Ooh, look at the kitchen oh i love this built-in oh that's nice the built-in's very nice 
that's that's a nice feature let me see if i can get a good view on that yeah i like that and i like how how open the kitchen is and it's got a pass through into the other room that's nice too that's nice that we have a pass through into there wow look at that dining room oh that is some space so this this room is not necessarily opulent except for maybe the chandelier but the size of the table alone like you can tell you can tell he's got money okay so that is beautiful also maybe a pet or two interesting i could see sterling's a dog guy for me he's not he's not a cat guy he's a dog guy all right up the stairs we have a little landing here and then our first room is a cute little laundry room that's adorable good little space and then we have a sauna wow all right so yeah that's living the rich life for sure our next room is a bedroom so this is like a guest bedroom that's a good guest bedroom looks like a hotel room i've done that before where guest bedrooms look like hotel rooms oh so this is a nice little office area Ooh, i love this oh i love that that's a beautiful display yeah i could totally see that's that's up sterling's alley he could have a display like that and let's see here we've got two more rooms a nice bathroom here good color mix oh i like that bathroom that's very pretty very pretty excellent and then and then we have half a roof in a room okay hold on we're gonna back this roof up if i choose this house i'm, I'm doing separate roofs so i can play that to because i don't like having the roof go over like that you can do that just with extra roof pieces everything's always extra roof pieces this is a beautiful bedroom oh my god look at this bedroom Ooh, oh i love this bedroom and double closets and this is the ensuite oh look at this ensuite with the jetted tub and the beautiful carpet <sighs> nice 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 oh that's beautiful i think that's the whole house yep no basement oh my god there's a basement space <gasps> where are the stairs oh they're hidden under there oh i didn't even realize okay we have basement space too oh what a surprise oh look at this this is like man cave oh yeah oh we have foos foosball and gaming stuff woodworking shop archaeology oh yes this is wonderful man cave oh for the dog yeah this has everything all the skilling stuff Ooh! oh look at this he's got a whole gym oh and an extra bathroom down here oh wow okay oh wow okay nice nice oh and the pool is over there okay wow i thought we were done and there was more yes this is definitely a rich man's house all righty god you guys are going to make this so hard for me i can tell all right, next up is Bonnie Bell Blue, aka Bonbon bon Girl on Twitter, and she comes to us with a modern rustic farm. She says, This is a newly built farmhouse of Sterling Gardner, or for the LP and all that, yep. As former CEO of Huge Corporation, Sterling decided to escape the hustle and bustle and get back to nature by finally developing his long standing love of botany. He will tell you he's been longing for the simple life, but then the simple life of a simoleonaire is quite different than you might expect. A modern home with room to dream and grow, maybe even grow a family. Beautiful. Let's see it. All right. So we have a three story kind of, she's sort of right, modern rustic type look. That's an interesting mix. And I see a lot of deck space. And I also see a simmer who paid attention to location because look at that deck space and look at what it's looking at. Yes. Yeah, someone paid attention to where the view was on this lot. Cause I did tell everyone where this was going to be placed and there's some nice views in the back, but the mountain view is up front. So this was smart thinking with this deck space out front really smart thinking so look at this beautiful she gives us nice farm area ba pieris patchy the clown love the long driveway a couple of people did long driveways love the long driveway she's got a roof piece going as a ramp into this sort of quintessential red barn house but i'm thinking that it might not be quintessential red barn house inside oh look at the outside this is such a cute building 
And we have a toddler pool back here. <laughs> There's no toddlers living in, in with Sterling or is that for him? He has no real pool back here. So this is so he hides the toddler pool. So that's where he can go hang out in the summer when it gets too hot. I get it. Wow. Look at this space. So this is definitely a rich person's like gardening space right there. And the fire pit and some eating space outside. Wow. So, okay. So let's take a look. Yeah, this is totally a rich person's gardening space right here. Look at this. And he's got the flower arranging stations. I love this. Look at this. The, the washboard and the hose on that is beautiful. That is brilliant. And the sink in here. The drainage thing. This is, this is very well done. This is nice. Love that. Oh, and look, and it's a man cave. So the barn is a man cave. Yes, I love the man cave. It is beautiful. Oh, so he's got a little place to eat out here if he wants. Storage stuff. Wor workshop, wood workshop, and a sink, which is super convenient. He's got some heaters out here, some extra scrap wood scraps, the foosball table. Yeah, this is beautiful. Oh, and some more wood scraps back here. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, love it. Love it, love it. All right, let's take a look at the front of the house. Start start from the start. Okay, so cute little porch. We go into a foyer with stairs. Oh, we have a downstairs here too. We have a basement. Okay, empty basement in this one. Okay, we have a basement, just an empty basement. So nice little foyer area. Then we go in. We've got a living room office space here. It's a cute little office space, huh? Nice little living room with the divider, fish tank. I like that. I like the fireplace and the TV inset. Ooh, this is nice with the light coming in here. What a nice dining space with the beautiful windows and everything there. That's a good dining space. Ooh, love this nook. Look at this nook. Oh, it makes the table look built in. Oh, that's brilliant. Nice, nice. Very good. Huge kitchen, double stove bar lots of stuff in this kitchen so it's not opulent but it shows the wealth definitely showing the wealth i love the fact that this eating area is right off the kitchen good design good design i know sims don't care but for like real life design purposes that's good oh i missed a room laundry no bathroom 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 with some laundry stuff stuff in it cool all right let's see what's on the next floor so we just have kind of a little landing here, some seats so that I guess you can look at the artwork. And then so we would have this foyer here or just this this sort of area with all the rooms. I'm going to go right to left. This is a nice room. Oh, I like this. I like this. The artwork and stuff on the walls. That's nice. Oh, good space here with the computer desk and everything, too. That's a nice bedroom. And off over here, oh, the spare bedroom. Oh my God, this is so true to life. This is like my real life. Like I have a spare bedroom that's sort of a catch-all that when we actually have guests, we have to go crazy like clean it and out because we put all that junk in there. Oh, that's very true to real life. That's great. Ooh, look at this room. Oh, I love this color. This is beautiful. Yes, that's a nice bedroom. Beautiful color. Nice, nice. Love that. Ooh, high-end bathroom with stone. I like the stone. Oh, I like the way this is done with the shower and this little alcove here. Stone tub right there. That's pretty. Oh, and our laundry in an alcove out here. Yes, that's nice. And now, oh, I didn't really look at this before. That's a nice little ad. I love, I love little decor pieces that add like make it look very homey and now my favorite part I, that I knew was my favorite part before I looked at anything because outdoor space I love outdoor space look at that that is beautiful so got some art space which is good if you're here and you're doing artwork you've got some reference as far as that is the view that you get that is a beautiful view so yeah, that is a beautiful space. Love it. All right. So we have another floor up. Here's some stairs. This was a nice design too, by the way, just having like this little open space here so that she could put some windows next to the stairs and it makes these stairs feel a little bit more open. That's kind of a nice idea. 
and then we go upstairs here Ooh, this is beautiful so we have a, a dedicated gym area here with a sauna right next to it that's gorgeous oh and look place for him to have his Gatorades and all of that stuff and then we go outside Ooh, meditation area with that same view oh yes with the same view for the meditation area that is brilliant and then out here oh this is nice too look at this little sun area hot tub with the hose this is a good element to have like the detail there this is nice this is a nice home yep you guys are definitely making this hard on me next one up is alluvian explorer and so he says, or she says, this is a large stone farmhouse with traditional flooring, yet modern fittings. Barn for taking care of the more rare plants, outdoor gardening and pond. Wine cellar, where he keeps his finest wines for entertaining. Old tractor that belonged to his grandfather has been lovingly restored and sits out front in his memory. Lots of entertaining space, but beware the cow plant. Oh my goodness, she included a cow plant. Cheer he, I'm not quite sure. But a cow plant? I'm afraid of cow plants. Okay, so take a look at the cuteness on this place. This place is adorable. I think it's so cute. All right, so I think that this front area is meant to be the gardening area. I love this this beginning area with the truck and this like is the driveway. This thing on the side is such an interesting little element here. And then the tractor, look how cute the tractor is. That is adorable. So the tractor has been lovingly restored and sits out front. Then we have a pond here. B.A. Pierre, and then our barn area. Look at this. All right, so this is for the rare plants and a little snow globe collection and a, a flower arranging area, so that's cool. Is this, this must be the cow plant. It is. That's the cow plant coming. Oh, scary, scary cow plant. Oh, we have a patchy the clown. That's nice. And this is interesting. Look at this. She mentioned the wine cellar. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be cool. And I love this little front porch. It's so adorable. All right. And I think that's all the exterior space, right? Yeah, nothing else left really for exterior. Okay, so. Whoops. Let's take a look at the interior. We come in. We've got a little foyer. Let's choose the right direction because that went towards the wine cellar, which I'm really interested in. Okay, so kind of open here. Got a nice little fireplace, woodwork, wood, woodworking area there. And let's see what's downstairs. This wine cellar is interesting. Yes. Oh, I love the whole wine cellar idea. This is great. <laughs> These are great on the wall too. This is nice. The wine cellar idea is brilliant so cool all right this is nice some some rustic rustic dining room and and chess area this looks good for like a, a nice rustic farmhouse kitchen but yet it's huge which is something that a rich person would have would be a, a huge kitchen and we've got a room over here oh half bath half bath off to the side cool always good to have a half bath downstairs and this looks like our living area we have toys sterling doesn't have toys and what's this thing over here this is what is this some kind of ledge oh it's for the driveway outside okay that's just an accidental eve overage we can get rid of that real quick no problem and I think that covers it downstairs. We'll head on upstairs. Oh, we have a kid's room. So that's a couple of kids things. I think maybe maybe I wasn't clear enough on the description. We have a few kids things here. Oh, and a very, very pretty kids room here. Yeah, I may not have been clear on the, the description. Uh, Sterling definitely doesn't have kids. He's more single ready to mingle. So uh, he doesn't have kids. But wow, what a pretty room. If I choose this one, it's it's easy to convert a room. That's not a big deal. But man, that is good looking. And so over here we have what would be Sterling's room. This is a nice room for a man. Nice color scheme. Good room for a man. Like it. 
And then we have our lengthy bathroom here with our high-end fixtures. So that's nice too. Oh, and some outdoor space. Unfurnished as of yet outdoor space. Oh, but with some glass ceiling. That's kind of interesting. That's a nice little element. That's cute. I like it. Oh, we got a little piece of paint that's not colored. Hold on. Just because, you know, I don't know, OCD or whatever. All right, that's that's good. I like that glass there. Yeah. Okay, so I think I think we have the whole thing here. I think I covered all of it. Love that tractor out front. How adorable. So that is Alluvian Explorer's entry. So last but certainly not least, we have an entry from Mega Girl Boss. And she says that Sterling Farm is a one bedroom, one bath farmhouse, an open floor concept in the kitchen, pantry and dining area and living room. Bed bath is on the main floor with an office game room on the second floor. This lot has a barn and greenhouse attached to the barn. In the barn, you'll find some animals, animals and a workbench. In the greenhouse, you can make flower arrangements and... Yep, she just says here is her submission. Excellent. So take a look at this beauty. This is pretty. Look at all this beautiful farm stuff she has in the front here. This is great, huh? We have all kinds of little pumpkins and everything else. Of course, we have a couple of scary cow plants too. That that could make me nervous. There are definitely a couple of scary cow plants there. But, you know, we'll, we'll just move on from that to the quintessential red barn. This place looks so cute. And sorry, I've got a little bit of skipping on my computer right now. Hope that doesn't come across on the video, but there's a little bit there. Anyway, this barn, we got to take a look at this barn. Oh my God, look at this. She's got animals. How adorable is that? Oh my God, that's crazy adorable. Ha, huh? that is so cute. Woodworking bench. We have our beehive areas, our bee apiaries. Flower arrangements, beautiful little garden space with Patchy again. And you know what? I think I've been calling him Patchy the Clown. He's a scarecrow. And I know I keep saying clown and I apologize. It's a thing. So, <laughs> oh, the front porch is nice and everything. This is beautiful. Let's see what we have in the back for space. Oh, nice little patio back here. Good living space with a barbecue and everything. That's a pretty nice living space back there. Love the long driveway too. A few people did long driveways. It's nice. And this here we have, oh, look at this fountain. Okay, it's a water feature. I got to show it live. Let's see it. Let's see it move. Oh, look at that. That's adorable. And it's got the little froggy thing in the fountain here. I am having a little bit of game lag. I'm probably overtaxing my system right now. It doesn't happen often, but every now and then. And let's take a look in this front area here. Okay, so the house opens right up to this beautiful living room. Oh, I love the way she did this with the sectional sofa. Oh, that's nice. Nice living room area with a sectional. That is beautiful. Love this open concept space too. Beautiful dining area, nice big, big kitchen, good size kitchen. Looks like a country kitchen, but big enough that you know that it's someone that has some money. Oh, look at this pantry. Oh my God, I love this pantry. How, how is this? Oh my God, these are each individual pieces. Oh God, that's brilliant. Oh my God, I love it. Love it, love it. Love this pantry. Oh, look at this space. Oh, I totally love this pantry space. Oops, bad camera movement. Sorry there. Oh, I love that pantry space. That is wonderful. Do I have any stairs going downstairs? I don't want to miss a basement. I don't see any here. Let's see what, let's try with this room first. Okay, so an office space. This is a nice little space. Oh, with a, a laundry. So he's got laundry right there, a little a couple of bookshelves. Good. And then our next door down. Oh, we got the, she said one bedroom, one bath, I think. So that's a nice big master bedroom. That's a nice space. Oh, Andy's got sliding glass doors that lead on onto that nice patio. 
Beautiful. And I'm assuming this is his ensuite. Yep. Nice ensuite space. Do we have another bathroom for guests and stuff, or was that, is that the, that might be the only bathroom. Okay. We do have an upstairs though. There's upstairs. I want to see where those stairs go to. Ooh. Oh yes. This is like the playroom. Oh, this is nice. If you're rich, you know, you have to have a playroom. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Good. God, all you guys did so well. I'm going to have such a hard time choosing and you know I'm going to be a stinker. I'm going to say thank you all for uh, participating. Everyone that joined, definitely thank you for joining and for your absolutely wonderful builds. It is going to be very hard for me to choose, but yeah, you know I'm going to be a stinker. I'm not going to pick until uh, the, the winner will be revealed in my LP is what I think that I'm going to do. Either that or th this is so hard to pick from. I may possibly just choose a couple and have the audience vote. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm going to, I'm going to make you guys wait for the pick that much. I know that I'm going to do. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to tell you that. And then the next thing I'm going to ask for is for you to hit like on the video. <laughs> I'm such a stinker. You're probably going to be like, no, I'm going to hit that thumbs down for not picking. <laughs> but no, I have to, you know, there has to be a cliffhanger, right? That that has to has to happen. So <laughs> yes, thank you to all my participants. Thank you to everyone viewing. If you do like the video, please do hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff that helps us YouTubers out a whole bunch. And thank you so much for spending the time with me today. And I hope to see you all back again next time. Bye now.